Yo, what's up, everybody? Morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are watching me from. You know, I always talk about Nigeria as a whole. If I tell you that somebody told me that Mr. President, our president, President Bola Ahmed Tinobu, that person met me and he told me that our president mean good for this country. And I asked him, how do you mean or how do you know? Have you had opportunity to sit down with Mr. President and he told you his plan for Nigeria? He said, no. I said, how did you arrive at your conclusion? He said, you know the man, you know the man. Listen, how many of us know Mr. President Bola Metinobu? How many of us know him? The people that know him know him, but many of us, we know him through what people are saying about him, whether good or bad. But he now fall into one side. If you are in the right side where a lot of people are saying good about him, definitely you have no option than to love him because you have to believe those people around you. If you are on the left side where people are saying negative things about him, you have no choice because you don't have the opportunity to know him, to tell you is this, is that. Whether you like it or not, you will fall or go with those people that are saying negative things about him. But if you have opportunity to meet him one-on-one, -on -one, then you can decide for yourself whether you like him or you will not. But when it comes to Nigeria, can anyone really say this is planned? that Mr. President had asked for us, I don't think anyone will have to come out and say that this is the plan that Mr. President has said. We read in paper, we see online, we see everything, all is planned. We see, we are seeing a lot of things. But let's, you know, be sincere to ourselves. We can only say that this man, with this policy, he will take Nigeria to the greater height. But if you come to analysis, have you sat yourself down to analyze if this man is doing this? How long? Will it take us? Nigeria is a big country. How long will it take us to see the difference we are looking up to see? How long does it need to put this much energy or work consistently to be able to see the result of what is planning to do? If we have not, you know, do those things, analyze those things, what gives us the assurance that after four years, all his plan will come to pass? I don't think anyone will say yes. This man, what he's doing will favor us. Let me give you an example. Everybody asks what they want to do. But if what they are planning to do doesn't favor you, definitely, that person, you will not see that person as a good person. If, okay, now let me give you an example now. 
since Mr. President emerged as winner and when he was sworn in as the president of this country, you all see what happened. Do we need to blame him? I don't think so. You see his fault? I don't think so. If he doesn't take that action, what are we going to see him as? I don't know. But the point I'm trying to drive at is anybody that has the, the opportunity to be in position where Mr. President is and is not giving you or your family all this palliative they just released or distributed. If, he, if those things are not getting to you or your family, then when do you think it will get to you? Are you not supposed to breathe the wellness, goodness of Nigeria every day you wake up? Are you not supposed to, if you're listening to radio, are you not supposed to hear something that will make you happy about your country? If that is not the case, when do you think you will have that hope that you are looking up to? Everybody wants greater Nigeria. Let me tell you. Every day, if you listen to radio, if you read newspaper, is it everything you see that gives you joy, that makes you happy? Do you have your children in school? How easy is it for you to pay your school fees, uh, your children's school fees? How easy for you to feed your family? How, I'm not saying it's Mr. President's fault. But anybody in position and that person did not, you know, transform your life from the level he met you. How long are you going to wait for that person? I want to say to every Nigerian, it is good we keep asking our government to do what we want. But it is also good for us to start preparing for ourselves because these people cannot depend upon. I love them so much and I want to say this to you. I'm not saying this to, you know, you know, as in to draw other people closer or to chase other people away from me. No, this is for everybody. Today, somebody told me that he didn't want to do business. I said, why? He said, he feel like going on. He said, now, all these goods, I have customers that want to buy them, but I cannot sell. I said, why won't you sell? He said, the dollar has rise again. If you buy, if you sell to them, he doesn't know how when when he's trying to buy those things back. He don't he doesn't know how much he's going to see those things to buy because everything in Nigeria now, you know, has way of you know dealing with dollar. The dollar it is what you know that 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 brings how we do business in Nigeria. And the dollar in Nigeria keep rising. Every day, dollar keep rising. And if that person don't sell, he's going to spend out of what he has made. See, for me, for me, I think if we are saying it will take time for government, It, it, if you are saying it will take time for us to feel the impact 
positive impact of government in our life. Why government, people in power, are enjoying what Nigeria has put together, what Nigeria has contributed, the treasury, different heads of Nigeria, what they have worked to generate for Nigeria, why are they be the one benefiting those things? If the people that are working have been denied of access to the benefits of the work they have done, the people in power, in control of those things should be fear enough, fearful enough not to abuse the opportunity given to them by these same people that have worked for the things they want to keep to themselves. People say we should, you know, manage that only time will tell when Nigeria will be okay and all of us will benefit. I wonder what give them that confidence to say or to believe that Nigeria that I know will become great as everybody wish with this level of leadership that we have. I'm not saying our leaders are bad, but they need to do better. I know the people that they are close to, I know they are doing great for them. Does it mean that people that are not close to you, they cannot feel the impact? Does it mean that the people that are close to you, what they are getting from you, cannot be extended to other people? Is that what that means? I know gov gov government. I know is it governance, I would say. I know it is not easy. It's a serious task. I know. But don't you check yourself and know whether you are capable or not. You need to know whether you are capable. If you are not capable, let the person, the capable hand, let it undo it. Nigeria need not to be selective. Anything that you think is good for you is good for every other person as well. We are struggling. We are working and we are struggling to survive. In our country, and let me say this finally before I... Somebody said, Mr. President will transform this country. There is no doubt about that. Less than three minutes later, he now said, Everybody listening attentively. Have you ever seen Nigeria from one president to the other? Have you ever seen where another president come into power and you say this president is better than the previous one? The president asks, have you ever seen any, any year or any time like that? But somebody said, are you not the one that said this person will do better? He said, no. This is how Nigeria will continue to be. He said, anyone that comes to power, we will regret having such person because we would prefer the old past, immediate past president. He said, it has been like that and that is how it's going to continue. I said to him, I said, me, I'm not in support of that. Because if we are complaining about the past president, are we supposed to complain about the present? He said that's the way it has always been. When do we put that to stop? We, I'm not saying we that we are the complainer. We are the complainer. We are, I'm not saying we are good. We are better than them. But when can all of us, when do we, you know, agree? To do the right thing, even when nobody is asking us, do the right thing. Nigeria must be great because we are all in this mess and we are suffering. We are 
faint. We are seeing the pain. We are feeling the pain. Please, let's help ourselves. If I say let's help ourselves, not help an individual. Let's help ourselves as Nigerians. If we are ready to do that, Nigeria will be unbeatable. Good luck, Nigeria.